Gary all wrapped up here at Cherrywood Road, home of Farnborough. Um, seems like uh, for all the times you've come out here and said the same old story for this season, it's the same old story of three points on the road for you again today. Yeah, look, really, really good win, a, a, a different win to, to what we saw Tuesday night. I think today was a, a real, I say a gritty one. And like I said, it was, it, it was a good win. Um, like I say, in, in necessarily tough conditions, the pitch was brilliant here. And, and like I say, um, Thanks to their ground staff, they worked tirelessly. It looked like it might be uh, looked like it might be off at the start of the day. So we're really pleased that you know we, we, we took the opportunity to to leave it as late as possible. So brilliant to to, to Farmer for getting it on. Um, but yeah, look, really good, really good win. One that we I think we had to ground out today because we we didn't keep the ball as as well as we had done on, on Tuesday night. Didn't make as many as many passes and keep as much possession as we would have liked to make it really easy for ourselves. But I think in truth, um, Will's probably had one save to make in the whole game. Um, but yeah, look, tough game, um, split by just you know one, one goal, obviously. And uh, but yeah, really, really good three points on the road. It was a bit of an unorthodox start for you and your coaching staff, Gaz. Obviously, getting the message early doors that the game was in jeopardy. I suppose at that point, you know, certain heads might start going, and the coaches start thinking we might have to day off here. And yeah, it must be a real tough test for you as a management to get the boys wrapped up, get them back in, and say, look, game mode. You know, we're here. The pitch is playable, and we're going ahead after you know potentially not playing today. Uh, no, not really, and, I, and, and because we wanted to play, and, and, and we knew that, and they wanted to play as well, so um, that was good, and that's quite refreshing. Um, so yeah, look, look, there was no, no, never any doubt that anybody got here and said, "Oh, look, we don't want to play." We got here, and there was surface water. The ref wanted to play as well, so like I say, it was nice that we got here, and everybody was really positive about wanting to play. And uh, yeah, look, it's worked out for us. And I suppose really we talk about the game, Gary. The first half, it was a, a tale of few chances for both sides, but in the end, it was you know, your side that got in there with a penalty with Matt McClure. Uh, Stonewall penalty, I was right in front of it. Alex has got a, a nick on the ball, gone round his man, he's been clattered. It had to be given, and then composure from Matt to step up and put the ball in the back of the net. I suppose that's what he's there to do. Yeah, look, another, 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 uh, another goal for Matt, which is nice. Um, but yeah, look, like I said, the first half we had to make an adjustment because we lost Faz really, really early. Um, so hopefully, Hopefully his injury's not too bad. Um, looks like a hamstring before before you ask me. So um, so yeah, look, we'll nurse that through. The boys have, have have expended a lot of energy and effort in the last in the last eight or nine weeks. Not just this little run here and this in this sort of like six, eight, seven, or you know, ten games unbeaten and, and four on the spin. Not just in that, they've they've expended a lot of energy um, in a in a like you said a different performance from from Tuesday night. So. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, we needed we needed a, a I can't say a slice of luck. You know, it was a it was a penalty. Yeah, so we needed that, that and that's really what's only separated the sides today. Um, I think we probably could have scored, been a bit more clinical second half. Um, Joey P's missed a really good opportunity when we've caught them on the break. We've looked really dangerous on the break all game. Um, but yeah, look, one nil, good three points on the road. Just about to say, obviously going into the second half there, Gary, when you came out. It was pretty much much of a muchness. Um, they looked like they were going to really try and hit you with that long throw, those direct balls into the big man up top. And you know, credit to your defence. I mean, for 90 solid minutes plus added today, you've stood up to that task really well. And perhaps it's that turn of uh, turn of the corner we spoke about a few months ago, wherein that we may not have been getting that luck beforehand, but grinding out a clean sheet performance here, with it being very much on top of you for large parts of the second half, especially with that long ball going in. You've got to be really proud of the boys today for the way they defended that. Yeah, definitely defended that really well. But you know, let's be clear, they're they're, they're much better than just playing for long throws and, and, and direct play, they're, they're, they're a lot better than that, given the, the, you know, the credit they deserve, they're, they're a good side. Um, like I, said, I think I said last week when I was asked about the preview for today, they're, they're well equipped to, to do well in this league. Um, so yeah, look, you know, it was pleasing that we dealt with everything they chucked at us, because that long throw coming in and in and in, to deal with that for, like you say, 90 odd minutes um, and be fairly comfortable and there not be any sort of scrappy sort of, um, you know, melees in the box is, is good. I think we first contact was brilliant second contact was good um, so yeah look some and you know on another day maybe somebody doesn't make a doesn't go with a runner or the ball drops for them today it, it fell our way um, and yeah we looked we looked fairly comfortable or composed but yeah you know they didn't just play for that they're a good side and I, I think we occupied spaces to stop them being as good as they have been um, so yeah look, again third time I've said it, it was a really good win a special mention there for Ollie Tomlinson. It must be really difficult coming into a side, especially so young and you know, with maybe not so much football this year as he would have liked. But uh, coming and meet up with the group on Tuesday, putting a good performance against Taunton, and I thought he was really, really, really accomplished alongside Will Richards back there today. And again, a clean sheet performance. Yeah, he was really, really good. You know, you know, uh, necessarily buy into the age. You know, we've we've, we've got younger, younger lads and in and, and around the squad. You know, I think King is younger than him anyway. Um, so look. Uh, 
cliches if you're good enough you, you know and if you're old enough you're good enough etc um look, yeah he was really good he was really good won a lot for you know first five or ten minutes um looked like he was gonna have his absolute hands full i think they got really good ball into uh, the forward players and then as i say as the game wore on he, he grew into it so um so yeah look, another one we're really really pleased with his performance there for it was fantastic and uh yeah you know it's uh he, he, he was he was a pleasure to watch can uh, move on to the slightly more jovial stuff now, Gary. The games in the, uh, in, the in the record books uh, for yourself. A personal accolade this week, picking up the Vanarama, uh, Vanarama Manager of the Week. Uh, ten games unbeaten now, four wins in the spin. <coughs> be a very, very, you know, very brave man to bet against that turning into a Manager of the Month. Um, look, I, well, don't say it for effect. We, we call it the Team of the Week. Um, to set it in there, I want us to get Team of the Week. I want us to get Team of the Month and, and be greedy for that. Um, I don't do anything. It's the lads when they go out there, they, you know, they cross the line. So um, they've been brilliant for, for, for quite some time, like I say, and I think they're getting their just rewards for, for like I say, keeping on doing the right things. Um, and it's, it's, it's fallen for us. Now is our time for, you know, for that little purple patch and we'll make as much hay, you know, while the sun shines as we can. But yeah, look, absolutely. It's not, not, not about personal accolades because it's not a personal accolade. It's absolutely the team um, that, that deserve everything. And, and again, look, they, they were really, really good again today. Very humble of you, Gary, to accept the uh, to accept the plaudits with such a humility. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of uh, other things that get directed around at football, and it must be really difficult to be a football manager sometimes. But I'm glad to see it going so well for you. Uh, moving on to the league, um, you know, we've seen now with the results around the league today, uh, how we've been performing, and of course, other people slipping up around us. We've started to put a little bit of distance between ourselves and the relegation zone now. Still, with those couple of games in hand over the most, that must be a real sort of refreshing look for you at the moment now to sort of you know, plot your mini targets, and you've got to be coming close to hitting those once you set maybe about a month or two ago. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't set any out and out targets, um, like I said, because sometimes I think that can be not necessarily counterproductive. But we didn't set any out and out targets. We we, we asked them to, to to maybe we look, we broke our running, shall we say, down into to mini chunks. Um, and yeah, we you know we, we we definitely hit that over the last six games. And now we've asked them you know to go and challenge themselves to to do that over the next six games. So that was the first step of today. Um, we've got another. You know five games in that and we'll, we'll, we'll continue to break those games down into mini chunks as well so so yeah really good it's 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 nice to be like i say looking up you know i felt like a stuck record earlier in the in the year saying that when we get some some games at home instead of having a relentless away schedule um but look loads of work still to do we know that you know football can turn around and bite you up the, the um proverbial backside quite quickly um so look we, we're not getting carried away so there's nothing to get carried away about um, but yeah, another good performance and would, uh, like I said, another good result. And news earlier in the week, Ed Williams signed on a dual registration from Hartbury. Obviously, it's not a great deal known about Ed from sort of the internals of the supporters who are all asking a lot of questions today. Uh, made his appearance uh, on the pitch sort of, you know, into the second half to really sort of see the game out. Thought he looked all right. I'm sure you know a hell of a lot more about him than we do. Yeah, he's a really, he's a really good player. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm glad, and I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm glad we, we, we sold it as, as we've got him on dual red from Hartbury, really, because essentially, you know, he's a, he was playing League One football, um, you know, 18 months ago. So um, he's, he's returned from America out, out on a, you know, a, a pro contract. Um, and luckily for us, circumstance has, has, has allowed us to, 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 to get him in. You know, there were a lot of people after his signature turned down a move to, to, to the conference. So to... To, you know, to, to, to sign for us so we're, we're really lucky we're really pleased to have him um, and like I say you can see when he came on in his short cameo he's got real quality um, so yeah I, I'm hoping it's one that, that will excite the fans and uh, familiar opposition next week uh, sorry next week now Gary on Tuesday we've got the return leg of the game against Weymouth um, they've won today we've won today uh, points are really at the moment all this important for both sides and you know after you know, winning round one so to speak with the 1-0 win away there at the, uh, at the Bob Lucas got to be looking forward to Tuesday and hoping that really maybe we can go into this and shape them again yeah we, look, we, go, we go into every game looking forward to it because it's a, you know an opportunity to get three points and get us to where we want to be they'll be um, same as us they'll They'll, they'll be hurting from, from from our result there, you know, uh, the other week, um, and, and they'll be the same as us, wanting to go into a game to win it in a game of football. If I, you know, I've said it before, Bobby's teams are, are set up well, to, you know, again to to achieve results, and it, he'll be coming to to to, to win as as we we trying to stop them. So yeah, look, we look forward to it. Um, it'll be another tough, difficult game, um, and hopefully, you know, it's, it's one that we can we can get a result out of. But yeah, look, we'll we'll, we'll go into that as, as we do every week and, and, and try and win the game. And obviously one final question for you Gary that I was absolutely told I needed to ask it was 10 unbeaten now I think four wins on the spin and we all know Gary Horgan loves a run at the end of the season so I suppose my question is who do you want in the playoffs guys? <laughs> um, look, let's just concentrate obviously on, on, on finish as high up the table as we can 
let's get our um let's you know like i said just keep looking up which is what we are doing and uh yeah you know long like i said let's let's, let's take each game as it comes and uh yeah, make sure we try and win those. You heard it here first, guys. Gary Horgan won't mention who he wants in the playoffs, but for Gary this week, it's a Manager of the Week, pending Manager of the Month, four wins on the spin, ten unbeaten, and another three points here against Farnborough. We'll see you on Tuesday, Gary. Cheers.